Hello, this is Nye from Finale Guitar Studio. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to restring your classical guitar. So, what I've got here is a Jose Ferrer Concert Grand guitar. Um, I've bought it second hand and I'm going to restring it so I can sell it on to one of my students. Um, you can see I've done one string already here, that's the E string. I've put it on just so you can see what the knot looks like. So, your knot is going to look like that with two little coils um, and just a little bit of string sticking out of the bottom. The way classical guitars work is they've got these little holes here that go through the bridge. You can see there's a series of little holes along here. Uh, there's one little hole just there, that's the second one, so I'm going to take my B string out of the packet and I'm going to put that through there. So you get your string, you find one end of it, which is there, and you push it through that little hole like so, until it pops out at the other side of the bridge. You can see there it's coming through. So I'm going to grab hold of that bit that's come through and I'm going to pull it until we get nearly to the end of the string. So we've got about, let's say, four inches sticking out. Now with that, I'm going to take that, I'm going to go round the back of the bit that's come out and underneath it, like so. And then I'm going to get the end again. And the end is going to go back under itself, like so, so that you get a loop. And then it's going to go all the way round itself again, and back under itself again. So you can see there the end went round the back, the end came round here, it went round the back of the original string. It went around itself and came under, and then it went around itself again. And now I'm going to take the both ends and pull it until it's tight. So you can see there, I've basically made another knot exactly like the first one. Just one quick tip for when you're tying your strings on. Um, some people like to do the bottom three strings with just one loop instead of two. Where I said the string goes round the back of itself um, and then round again, some people just do it once. And that is because those strings are considerably thicker, um, so they don't necessarily uh, loop as easily. And also because they are wound anyway with metal, um, they've got more friction with fewer loops. So you don't necessarily need two loops. Personally, I prefer to do two anyway, um, just so they all look the same. But that's purely personal preference. Right then, you can see at this point I've skipped ahead a little bit. Um, I've done some of the strings. I'm just going to run you through with the very last one how to um, put the top end on. So before you start doing this, um, whichever end you start at, you want to line up all these little holes so they're all facing upwards like that when you're starting. Because that means when you get to the point where you need to get your string through the little hole, um, you will be able to hold onto this at the back with one hand and hold the guitar up and use the other hand to turn the peg round. So now I'm going to turn my peg clockwise as I look from the front which is going to tighten that string up and I'm going to keep turning until I get to about um, one whole turn from where I originally started. All the while make sure you're holding this little bit that sticks through with your other hand because nylon strings are really slippery and they will take great joy in coming back through the hole and making you do it all again. So um, when you get to the point where you've got a full turn on where you started, so you can see my, uh, my hole there with the loop coming through it is at the top, um, I'm now going to use this hand to apply some pressure pulling, pulling this part of the string towards me. And what that's going to do is keep my coils nice and neat and make sure that I don't get any slack on the, on the uh, plastic bobbin there. So with the other hand, I'm going to keep turning this round. I'm um, still turning clockwise, of course. And I'll just keep going until my coil gets to the point where the string is now getting enough tension on it to pull it into the slot on the neck. Each string has one slot on the uh, on the nut here. Um, you can see there there's six little slots. Just make sure that you've got the correct string in the correct slot before you add any more tension, because otherwise you'll have to undo it all and do it again, which is a pain. Um, 
I'm going to keep tightening now till I get to the point where, where I twang this string, I no longer get a buzz. So that's not buzzing, that's fine. Um, when you're just starting and you, let's say you put the first string on, um, you put that one on, you twang it until you get to a point where there is no buzz. And at that point, you don't bother tightening it anymore. There's no point trying to tune it just yet. Um, because what you're going to do now is stretch the strings. You know when you first um, change the strings and you try and tune your guitar up, the strings will go flat all the time. They'll keep going out of tune. You can minimize the time that they do that for by doing this step. So grab your strings um, when you've just put them all on. Get your finger underneath them and pull them towards you and run your finger all the way down to the saddle and all the way up to the nut and then do it again. And maybe do that um, four or five times. Don't apply loads of pressure because obviously you don't want to snap the strings, but just enough to give it a good bending so that you're going to um, stretch the strings a little bit. So I'm going to do that now for all the strings. Oh, ow. <laughs> Did it too fast, burnt my finger. With um, nylon strings, you can stretch them quite a lot. There's not much tension in them and they're pretty strong. You can see I've, uh, I've really stretched that string out quite a bit. Um, the more you stretch them at this point, the less you will have to wait for them to bed in and um, stay in tune after you've finished putting them on. So I do recommend this stage as being pretty important. So the very last one. Cool. So now all that remains to be done is to tune this guitar back up to normal tuning a few times. It will keep going out, um, but after a few tune-ups, they will start staying in tune. The very last thing you want to do in your um, string changing operation is to clip off all these little straggly end bits that stick off the end. So you're going to get a pair of pliers, or um, if you haven't got any pliers, a pair of snips or some scissors. And you're just going to cut off those little end bits. Snip, 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 snip. And the same deal at this end, you've got some little straggly end pieces poking through. Um, leave a little bit on those, but just not enough to scratch the wood of the guitar. Maybe chop them to be about two centimetres long. Um, and that is everything. You're done. That is about it for this tutorial. I hope you've enjoyed it and got something out of it. If you have, you could help me out by clicking subscribe down the bottom. You will get lots of great free videos straight to your inbox. I'll be doing lots more uh, tutorials for beginners, improvers and advanced players very, very soon. And you will also get news of the learning section of my website, which is coming soon with free downloads, blog guides, diagrams, um, free music to play, loads of good stuff. So click subscribe right now, do it, do it quickly. Uh, thank you very much for watching, I will see you in the next video.